Thank you for watching Barb, Molly, and Princey. Um, we're going to go through something a little different today. Um, we're going to be talking about the relationship between a man and a woman. Um, I know it might be a little long. My daughter told me that if it's if it get anything gets over ten minutes, I did on uh, YouTube, people don't bother read and just then just get out of it. So I'm gonna make it like ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes until um, I get my point across, uh, what I want to say. Um, but. The relationship between a man and woman is that nobody understand each other. It's like men don't understand women and women don't understand men. First time maybe they do. Um, it was a little bit better than these days because um, sometimes the man is so head over heels and then the woman is not head over heels and then the woman is looking at somebody else and then the man is looking only at the woman and then when the woman said this is not what i want and then the woman left then the man get broken hearted and then the man want to fight and kill and do all kind of thing when they meet on the street you got to make sure that the partner that you choose is the one you really want to be with um, no one wants to be used. No one wants to um, to think that later on down the road you will go on and leave them. Uh, my thing is that people would get hold together and sit on the veranda like they used to do back, uh, 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 years ago and get all together and sit there and talk and then go to bed. You know, but now it's like a fighting, shooting, killing you know um because oh i spent a lot of money on him oh i spent a lot of money on her oh you know and then it doesn't work out so people have to be careful um i have talked to a lot of people a counsel a lot of people who um or in a relationship and if you even hear like later on down the road people can have been married for 50 60 years and then oh yeah we're getting a divorce and i'm going where are you going who the hell wants you now you know what are you looking for at that age you would think that they would just but all the children are gone and so you know what i mean we're not getting along didn't you know you were getting weren't getting along all along you know so it is so hard on, on, on both party. I think um, relationship lock, communication and friendship. I think first you have to be friends before you jump into bed and and then all of a sudden because some relationship is only based on a sexual attraction and um you know no communication no talking the only time they friend friend is when they jump into bed and that's that i don't think that should be it your partner should be your best friend you should be ah uh, Orient to get home in the evening to see him, to talk to him, and both of you to sit down and have ice cream cone or whatever you do together, play games or do some uh, form of thing that you do instead of um, the quarrel. And I keep wondering what, what people quarrel and mad for weeks about, and I don't understand. And some people mad for weeks and weeks and weeks and don't talk and do, and I'm not going to talk to you about the judgment. I'm not going to that's not relationship that you know, you know what I mean that, that's not relationship but when you truly um, love your partner uh, you'll do what the Bible said the Bible said don't let the sun go down on your wrath you know and you shouldn't go to bed you know with your wrath what if you died you know what I mean um, uh, people hide in money they're hiding and and money is the big thing that they quarrel about a lot of time because each person are hiding it don't want the other to know how much they have and da, 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 da. that is so lame 
because the relationship is supposed to be you trust each other. You work and you bring the money home and the wife bring money home and both of you put together and you said this is the savings and you know what I mean after the bills are paid this is what left over and if you find yourself that you have to be hiding things then that tells me that you are not committed to a relationship you're looking uh, for faults uh, what they used to say first time until faults do find so if you're looking for faults then you'll get faults so as soon as something happened, then you go, okay, I'm leaving. It's a good thing I didn't give her all my money. I have my money saved. I buy my money in the bank. She ain't touching it. Oh, those things are not are not logical or not realistic. Um, it, it should be, uh, you, you, you know, both of you communicating together, and um, so you can uh, find common ground. And if you're in a relationship and you have to be quarreling and fighting, that is not the partner for you. That's a temporary partner and you should look out to go somewhere else and don't stay in a relationship where you got to be fighting and the man is giving you black eyes and broken arm and legs and this and that and, and throw things at you and you're throwing things at them. That's not the relationship you want to be in. But when you find that special someone, you will know that, you know, your friendship, your friend, and um, even though there is a problem, sometimes you work it out. You know, um, a lot of people would, um, if they the partner asks where they're going or where they have been, they take it and make a big thing. They're checking up on them. They're um, first time it used to be. Whenever time you're going out, well, we didn't have cell phone and all that thing back a lot of time. Um, you would leave a note and said, I'm going to the grocery store. Da, da, da. So, in that sense, if your husband or your partner heard that there's a shooting at Publix, they go, oh my God, that's where my wife is. They will try to say, you know, to see if anything wrong with you. But if you said you're going to Publix and then you end up in Walgreens and you end up from Walgreens to CVS and you keep running around the road, nobody knows where you are. You see, I don't call that checking up on you and, and trying to keep tab on you. It's to, it's, sometimes it's for your safety. You have maybe some people who would... Um, Yes, check up on you and who want to say, well, then where you been? You've been with somebody else and all that. I don't know if somebody can go out and, and, and go and be with somebody in a short period of time, but maybe it can. And, and, and so it, it's, um, they don't trust each other. There's no trust there for you to say, well, then um, I trust my wife and I believe what she said and, and what she said, I trust my husband and, and you know, because everybody's trying to two time each other uh, to look somebody else on the side. Um, we, they used to have a song back in Jamaica saying, stealing love on the side. I wonder what was it, Marcia Griffiths or Marcia somebody, I don't know. Um, I don't know who sing it, stealing love on the side. Uh, and, and so it seemed like everybody's stealing love on the side and can't make up their mind in what they want to do. But if you find yourself that you have uh, to be stealing love on the side, it is not the relationship you're in, it's not the one. The love that you're stealing go to that person. Maybe that's the person for you. But then again, that person may not work a lot of money to maintain um, uh, the person habits. So they are, one is for love and one is for money. And it doesn't work because eventually it's going to catch up on you. Because the person who, you know, the one who is giving you money um, realize that you're stealing love on the side over there then eventually they're gonna caught up with you and you know how hell gonna break loose because it's not what they want to do or want you to do so they are investing their money and their time and so you you are there hurting them in the long run um, because when they think that you are committed, you're up next door stealing love on the side. And and so it causes a, a big scrabble and then you end up 
hurting each other, going to jail, killing, or uh, whatever it is, because you said, okay, I give you much more thousand dollars, you don't spend all my money, and you send it to school, um, because in uh, long ago, well, I don't know if it's still happening, maybe it is, but um, in the 80s and 90s, and uh, that's what used to happen here in Florida, uh, the woman used to uh, get one not so nice man, rough man who do construction or gardening or something and then that man would send them to school and then they become an RN or LPN and then as soon as they become a LPN or RN they left the man and the man get hurt and the man start to walk up and down to kill them. Um, because if you find that there is uh, your partner and you don't like your partner, don't let him spend all that much money on you. I know a lot of people won't agree with me in that concept um, because they feel, oh yeah, let him spend your money. I don't think so. If you don't want somebody, don't take the money. First thing, uh, when I was growing up, I don't take money from man. I don't take, because I know if you take money, they want something else. And I know I don't have the something else to give, so I don't take money from man. And unless it's my, and even so, because when you take money from, in my era, when you take money from man, it's like you're selling yourself. So um, I don't go, you know, give him every time he come, give him money. No. Like I watch the African movie and then they go, oh, this is to take care of yourself. And this is to, you know, I never do that. Because uh, I know the man is going to come back and say, well, I give you my money. And I don't want you to come back and say, you give me your money. You don't have any hold over me. So if I see you and I don't want to talk to you, then you can let me talk to you because I don't take your money. You see, I don't take people money. I have my own money. Yes, I'll take a gift if you buy a gift or something like that, but I, I don't even encourage it. You know, I don't beg. I don't say, oh, yes, I want, I want, I want. I am not a wanty, wanty person. I, I live within my means, and whatever I have, I live with it. I don't want to go there and say, oh, give me, give me, give me, give me. And then they come and say, give me, give me. And when they come and say, give me, give me, give me, then you're going to quarrel. You know, it, it's a two-way street. If they are giving you, they're going to look for something else from you. And so you can say you don't have it or you don't want to because you're taken from them. So if you don't take a man's money or a woman's money, then they can't want things from you. So um, you got to be careful in what you're doing. And those women would go to school and become an RN or LPN. And the minute they become RN or LPN, then they realize that the man is not what they wanted. And I'm saying, didn't you know that the man was a ruffian before? Didn't you know that the man wasn't your type of man? Didn't you know that the woman wasn't your type of woman? Why did you let him spend thousands of dollars to send you to school? And then as soon as you get to school, oh, I can't take him to my job. I can't take him to my Christmas party. I can't take him around my friends. Oh, my, he doesn't speak good English. He doesn't speak, he doesn't talk properly. He doesn't talk patwa. He de de. And, and that's the time there is a problem. Because you let that poor man who could have found someone in his own habitat. And then you pretend to care and you take all his money and then you leave him there and then that's when the the bad living start and the problem and the quarreling and the fighting all over the place and you know what I mean and you have to be run for your, running for your life it doesn't um, pay to do something like that if you don't if you're not interested in someone let them know that you are not so you can he can or he she can um, get with it and go buy them go about them business don't use them nobody likes to be used no man likes to be used no woman likes to be used and so um, I'm going to do a, a, a tape, a, a relationship tape on Amjam TV because it's it's happening down there too. Lots of killing and stuff uh, are going on uh, because the, the people hurt each other and people can't understand and they can't stand it because some people cannot take hurt. You know, because even when you when you're growing up and your little boyfriend left you, how oh, broken hearted. 
and even in, in grown up days and man leave or woman leave oh my god for months or weeks you've been there not eating not sleeping crying and crying and so that's how the other partner feel when one hurts the other and has to uh, go about the business and then until they get somebody sometimes they just stay by themselves and say they don't want to have anybody else and when a lot of men or women hurt each other then people become gay and, and start looking Looking on the, the own sex um, for a relationship, and so that's why you have a lot of people turn gay. A lot of people, you know, what I mean, uh, whatever it is, because they've been hurt so much and they don't want to be bothered anymore. So if you have that um, uh, that kind of um, toxic relationship, it's time for you to get out of it. And, 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 and do the right thing. Because what my mother always tell me, what you don't want for yourself, you don't do it to others. If you don't want somebody to hurt you, don't hurt people. If you don't want somebody to beat you, don't beat people. Because sometimes the person that you're beating, 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 one day is going to turn around and you'll be surprised to see what they do to you. You know, because not because somebody don't hit you back and feel like they, they can't lick you back or, you know what I mean, don't go slapping a man and back him don't go slapping a woman and and box them and 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 you know what i mean be careful what you do in a relationship because it can be toxic and and, and it can be very dangerous um in a relationship so if you find out that the person that you are with is not the person that you want to be with in all means get out of it you can do applicable departure you know, just say, well, then I don't think it's going to work because maybe they feel the same way. But there was this holding on until you come and say that to them. And then, you know, so when you say that, they just, oh, yes, I was thinking the same thing. I don't think it's going to work. It may hurt a little because both of you have been collaborating for a while. Um, so it may hurt a little bit, but eventually you both get over it. And this is part one. I'll come up with part two again another time. I don't want to go over 20 minutes as my daughter says. Nobody's going to read it, listen to it because it's too long. Again, thank you for watching Barb, Molly, and Princess. Don't just view. Please like. When you view, like. So um, YouTube can recommend me and can put my video up a little bit. I'm trying my best to get as much video out. Sometimes I get tied up with doing things and can't get a video up. I'm trying to see if I could get the one that I can just talk in the background and show picture in front. I am not that techie yet. I'm trying to see if some more I can get one of my grandkids to help me or whatever with the thing that they have. And so we will get on to it. All right. Thank you again for watching Barb, Molly and Princess. Have a great day. Like, share and whatever they do. <laughs> so whenever time I, I put a video out, it will come to you. Thank you again. Have a great afternoon.